My name is Roland Renshaw and the company is VX Virtual Exhibitions. Um, I'd like to say thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you, Wilson, and thank you to the team. And also thank you to Richard, very interesting demonstration. Um, one of the things when you have a nice visual interactive way of looking at a product and exploring it, then the logical next step is what environment do I put this in? What is my shop? What is my sales place? Is there a, a building or a place that I can go digitally where I can shop digitally? And for us, the answer is yes. So the technology that I will show you over the next, I think, 15 minutes is something that has been in development for 10 years now. So it's not new as such, but the platform generation that we are on now has been developed over a long period of time and we've learned an awful lot over the last decade about how interaction works, about how online works, about how environments work. And for us, this is about making the visitor experience better. And it is about giving the opportunity to people who either own live venues, they either have live events, or they organize live experiences. Each one of those things is very important and the president's message was very welcome to us to hear that the industry, the mice industry is now getting back on its feet, that exhibitions are happening, that people are going to physical spaces. And our concept is not to completely replace a physical environment, a physical visit, a physical experience. People still want to meet people. They still want to see products for real. But it's important to consider that not all of an audience can attend one place in the world at one time just to see what is the latest thing for their industry. So for an exhibition or for a learning experience, it's helpful to have a live exhibition or a live place where people go and interact. But for a customer, it's also very good to have a digital alternative, to have somewhere else to go. So our platform was always designed to bridge that gap between a live event, which may be one, two, three days, and the other 360 days where there is no live event. If you can span that gap with a digital solution that gives people some of the experience of a live event, not everything, but some of that experience, and also adds benefits to everybody, convenience, it's easy, it's easy to access, it's fast to access, you can access from anywhere. So from a consumer point of view, I want to attend a webinar, a seminar, something like this, that's fine. I can log in, I can log in anywhere, I can watch what happens, or I can go to a live theatre if it is convenient and it's near me. But then if I miss the event and I'm interested in that subject in one week, in two weeks, in three months, then I can go back to a digital environment that I recognise, that I know, that I understand, and I can go and see that content again. And I can make my inform my decisions, do my research, do my learning, in an environment and in a service that is convenient to me, not to the people who put this on. So what I would say is that we've presented this technology to the mice industry several times over the last few years. And while there's been a very high level of interest, people have always said, hey, that's great. I like it. I will use it, but when it catches on. So there's been a reluctance for people to understand to get on board with what is now a very powerful tool. And I think it's fairly clear to look at Amazon, eBay, Alibaba. These platforms are digital, they're online, they are convenient to the user. So you make something that's convenient to the user, they will use it. When we've done tests, then we've shown that having a digital event gathers people together and it actually makes more people go to your live event because they were connected to the information all year round. 
I've seen something online, hey, that looks cool, I've talked to people about it online, I've visited the virtual exhibition stand or the virtual showroom, or the, I've been through the virtual experience, you know, I'm keen, I, I want to know more about this product, I like this product. If I've got the opportunity to go and see it for real, more people take that opportunity, rather than saying we are quiet for nine months of the year, and suddenly we have to promote an exhibition, hey, come to the live show, come to the live show, come to the live show, come to the live show. No, put a platform on that engages your audience all year round. So you can talk about the live event in a digital environment. And if you think about it from a footfall point of view, most trade events, particularly big trade fairs, will have 50% of their audience signed up already, pre-registered visitors, who don't arrive. It's not convenient, something else happens, they think they'll go, they don't. So half of that audience is not being catered for. And those exhibitors and those sponsors and those stakeholders who've paid money to take part in that event have 50% of that potential audience they can't access. So our solutions were always designed to give access to the other 50%. The exhibition I'm going to show you in a moment went live in January this year. It started to be sold about halfway through 2019. We had no idea that the virus would happen and that the industry would need digital more than they thought they did. But it's important because the industry has to embrace digital. It has to understand digital and it has to see digital as an opportunity, not as a threat. And this is the important thing for us that our platform is there to create an opportunity, to improve a visitor experience, to improve revenues. Now, humans are very good at changing and adapting and adapting to change. But we are also creatures of habit. And our habit is that we like a show, that we like our brands, that we like a venue. Now, there is no reason why an iconic exhibition venue that might be bricks and steel and mortar, cannot have a digital twin. So any of the audience out there, if you're involved or you own a venue and you want a digital version of your venue, the answer is yes. You can have a digital version of a venue and a live version of your venue, and you can run shows at both. You can cross over, you can invite people, you can have two audiences. You can have a live audience and a digital audience. Why wouldn't you want both? You can charge twice, and digital's cheaper. So digital being cheaper is not a threat, it's an opportunity. So I'm gonna now show you some things, instead of talking, um, so that you can see what I mean. Okay, so this is a virtual exhibition. This is called, um, by the way, Industry Expo. It's live, you can go and visit now. Um, there are different ways of navigating around this show. So. Here is a list of exhibitors. I'm going to use this hand. Here's a list of exhibitors. You can pick your exhibitor or you can hover over and my fantastic assistant is going to hover over a stand. They're then going to go and visit that stand. So there we go, we're going to go enter. So I'm now on a virtual exhibition stand. So we can, and what Richard was showing with um, high resolution photographs and 360 degree images. We can cope with 360 degree images that are photographs or they are video or they are 3D. So everything you see here is 3D. So on here there are real products that we've taken into the studio, we've created models and we've output the models. So we output a, a 3D environment. Once we output the 3D environment then we create this area where you can travel through. Now, I'm on a big screen, so this looks life-size, which is very cool, but it works on mobile. Um, it is using the browser to push the browser on an, an okay internet connection. It actually works on mobile, on a mobile signal, as well as Wi-Fi. It's very smooth, everything moves nicely, there are no stops, there are no halts in it, and this is because the browsers, um, Google, and um, all of the other major um, people who are involved in this have adopted a technology which supports this as a platform, which is great for users. Now, 
On the stand, you'll see small information points, which are eyes. Um, this we call a pin. A pin can be anything. It can be hidden. It can be shown. So if you click a pin, then it will open what we call a hotspot. Now, a hotspot can include video. It can include forms. It can include web chat, live stream. Uh, it can include anything. It can even include Richard's beautiful three an environment where you can go through and you can visit and experience something in 3D. Um, we do have people, which we're going to show you in a moment. I'm just checking my time there. Um, now, at the show, then we talked about different navigation methods. Now, this is the 3D walk around. Now, here is something that if an age group of, say, 25 years and below, you can move around the hall. So for, again, mobile, PC, computer, whatever, you can move around the hall, click on a stand, visit the stand. So this is Mitsubishi Electric. This is based on a live stand. Um, and we're going to click on A360. So again, this is where we are on the stand. This is all live. And we're going to play this video. And this video is recorded. There's the actual stand at an actual show. And here is the salesperson talking about the product. Now, in these times of COVID, we've actually built exhibition stands live and filmed people on those stands. So the salesperson gets to give their sales message directly via the studio, stood on their stand. So you build the real stand. And obviously, from an industry point of view, that means that if you're a stand builder, you have a job still. A stand designer, you have a job still. If you have a venue, then there's no reason why the venue can't be used to accommodate these stands. It's just that we film them and we put them online. So why not have an online version as well as an offline version? Now, this is great for a younger generation who are used to computer games and moving around um, within a digital environment. Um, some people are more traditional. So here is a traditional 2D map of the show. Uh, and this 2D map is inside a 3D environment. So if we click on it, then here is a 2D map. The 2D map's active. You can roll over. You can see stands. Same thing. Click on it. Go visit the stand. So here is a stand for a trade federation. You can see that you're on it. You're in 360. We're looking at a product. Now, this is the user experience and it's visually very real. It works on, as I say, most platforms, and it's available 365. So if I want to go to the live show, great, I'll go to the live show. If I don't have time, I can go to the digital version. So from that point of view, we've kind of shown those different ways of navigating. We've covered navigation first person, walk around. We've covered navigation 3D. We've covered navigation via a flat plan and we visited a stand. Now, this is where the really clever stuff happens. So here, and I'm seeing this backwards, so I don't know whether you can see this forwards or not. Um, these are the live visitor statistics for this exhibition. So there are 200, this hand, 270 people on at the moment, 2,000 this week, 11, 2,000 today, last day, 11,000 for the week. Um, and this show went live in January 2020, and we are just about to go over 200,000 visitors. So most of the big trade shows, this trade show was built on a live show that unfortunately couldn't go ahead, but will go ahead possibly next year. And they expect 16,000-ish visitors. We've obviously had 200,000, so the visitor figures are huge. But a lot of that is to do with covid um, we reckon there's probably 30,000 visitors who are genuinely interested in the subject of this show, which is industrial engineering uh, and automation. I reckon there's probably 150,000 sightseers. But that's okay, because when you log in, and I'm going to use this example, which is a stand we visited earlier. So the AMT stand, where we were looking at the blue electric motor. This is the live stats. The live stats are driven by Google Analytics. So it's a good quality source. 
this information is very reliable. And we can see from the day, from the month, and from the year, this is when it was launched, and then you can see COVID hit here. So lots of interest as a result of that, and some of those are genuine visitors and some of them are sightseers. So this is great information. It's really good. Um, it's great from a marketing point of view. You can see when your campaigns are working. You can see when visitors come in from direct email, from different events. Now, what's really powerful is, and this is where a virtual exhibition is different to a normal exhibition, we can tell you who was on that stand. We can also tell you what they looked at. So here are the people on the stand. Um, find me, show me. There we go. There's my contact details. This is the visit I just made to this stand. So you can see my information. You can see what I looked at and what was important to me. What you can also do as a product manager is you can go back to these stats. You can select a product that I'm interested in, that I'm responsible for that product. And you can click on here, and it will tell me who looked at my product. Here are the people that looked at my product. We can also show you how interested those people were in that product. So from that point of view, here are the interest level, the number of times they visited, and how long they spent on it. So fantastic information. This is telling me who's visiting, what they're looking at, and which product is interesting to them. And I'm looking at the time now, so we need to move on quite quickly. Um, this is an exhibition, a very large trade show. I'm going to go now. Oh, here's some virtual people. So you can click on a virtual person, and you can get their business card. You can do live chat, watch the video, all of that kind of thing. So th this kind of interaction with live people um, works via the platform. Um, so that's great. Um, if we can move on quickly to this, uh, and if we can go in and move around, and I'll talk while we're doing it. So this is a smaller venue. This is a VIP invite situation where people are coming in and they're invited into a particular environment. And just because of the time, I'm going to ask if we can move through quite quickly. So here's a coffee stand. We're going to move into the next area. So you go through the doors. You get a very immersive experience. And you can see here that you can book a meeting, go to an exhibition stand. Um, what we can do from here is to move into uh, the auditorium. And moving into the auditorium has a very real feel to it. So... You're in the auditorium. You can watch presentations, watch your presentations like the one I'm doing to you now. Um, and that gives you that sense of being there, of looking at what's going on. So it can be pre-recorded or it can be live, like I'm live to you now. So based on that time, I need to finish because there's somebody else. So um, what I'm going to do is move to this camera. And I think there's a, uh, a close-up of me. So essentially, my message is... Digital is not something to be scared of. It's a platform for everyone. It's a platform for vendors, for exhibitors, and for people who manage events. And it's something that will run alongside live events. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, interested in what the platform can do for you, then there are several vendors around the world doing this. Uh, and I would say adopt. Let, let, let's be Netflix, not Blockbuster. So thank you very much for your time. I'm going to stick around for the Q&A later um, if there are any questions. OK? Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Roland. This is really a beautiful presentation because we just see an amazing platform with all the elements as an organizers, or event organizers, exhibition organizers. It has all we need, especially for the customer experience walking into the hall. I mean, this is just amazing technology that can be applied, providing a very fantastic experience browsing the online show. Thank you very much, Roland. No problem.